from fire and fury to friends. So, is it time to relax about nuclear Armageddon? We asked a US foreign policy expert and a research analyst working on North Korea what they thought. Kim and Trump definitely haven't solved everything. At least we're not in 2017 again, where Donald Trump was calling Kim Jong-un Little Rocket Man. Kim Jong-un was calling Trump that mentally deranged American dotard. That opportunity to, to stumble into war accidentally has definitely reduced, but the risk of nuclear weapons still remains because North Korea essentially still have that capability. Uh, hold that thought, guys. Are you saying Kim might not hand over his nukes? Why would they give them up? They've achieved something that they've long wanted to achieve, and that's apparently normalising US relations. At, at the same time, though, on the American side, there's no chance of a normalisation of relations without freezing, testing, capping that arsenal. The likelihood is that's going to take at least a decade, if not more. Huh. So, not exactly straightforward. But what about trade? Maybe a Trump Tower in Pyongyang? I find it very hard to see uh, Trump Tower starting to pop up all over Pyongyang. Oh. The North Koreans aren't necessarily looking for an economic relationship with, with the US. They're looking very much for political leverage and political acceptance. The North Korean economy is half of the size of South Korea's sixth largest city. So this isn't an economy that businesses are going to make much money in anytime soon. We've seen recently in a lot of North Korean media that they've been quite scathing of capitalism in theory. I think a model that is like China, that still has state control over the economy, um, is going to be one that is more appealing to North Korea because of the type of the regime. Maybe, maybe Kim Towers yeah. is, is, is more likely to, uh, to be an initiative that, that pops up. Too much. But, in all seriousness, could things get better for North Koreans? You have a regime that takes millions and millions of dollars from the North Korean economy to spend on powerful weapons while the population is starving and dying in gulags. Every president has put denuclearization way above human rights in the discussions. But I think Trump has a particular position on human rights. He's been quite willing to be outspoken in saying this is not going to be a major part of the policy that I pursue. For the cameras at least, things seem amicable. But it's anyone's guess what they're really thinking.